must admit I'm rather anxious. I expected them back yesterday. Well, same here. I mean, I've left half a dozen messages. Not a dicky bird. Well, you know what Tracy's like. Lauren to herself. Uh, mine's working overtime. Uh, what if something's happened? Ken, I wouldn't start panicking yet. Yeah, absolutely nothing. They'd have run out of petrol. Or juice on the phones or something. Oh, that'll be her now. With some tall tale. It's, um, it's a school. Hello? Yeah, um, yeah, we know. Um, they've, um, they've been delayed, so... <gasps> oh, how amazing. It's open! I just have the grand number one. I found these. That's Amy's phone. And Tracy's. Oh, well, no wonder we can't get hold of them. 35 missed calls. It doesn't make any sense. Tracy never leaves the house without her phone. They miss the same. I looked in every drawer and cupboard. No sign of the passports. Well, that's because Amy's passport's here. It's in the back. I'll get it. We should tell the police. While we're stood here debating, she could be getting further away. Can't wait to point the finger, can you? I told you she was the one who attacked you, but you wouldn't listen, would you? Have you got it? Oh, it's gone. Trace was in here last week, poking around. She must have took it then. Why can't he come here? You need to keep a low profile. It's all set up now. And you definitely trust this Tixie. Stop stressing. Babe, promise me you're going to come straight back. I'll be an hour at the most, all right? Tell me what's up with you and Nathan. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. Technically, Amy hasn't been kidnapped. She's with her mother. Uh, what, a mother who apparently is on the run? Well, we don't know that for sure. As far as we're concerned, they've gone on holiday. Yeah, to the Peak District. So why she took the passports? Explain to me that. Yeah, you can't, can you? I mean, they could be on the way to flipping Timbuktu by now. Listen, Tracy hurt my granddad. She must have realised you'd figure it out eventually. She wants to be laughing at her, though, if you keep me banged up, leaving her free to do her honour. I think what we've got to focus on now is Amy. We need to find out where she is, and we need to bring her back. This lot in charge. Good luck with that one. That's enough. I mean, can't you check CCTV? You can't scratch your backside these days without somebody watching. I've made a note of your concerns, and I'll get a couple of my lads to start making inquiries. Oh, seriously, is that it? As soon as we find anything, we'll be in touch. We're not thick, you know. We know when we're being fobbed off. Oh, that's better. How'd you get on? I'm just not going to lift a finger. Didn't take me seriously at all. What, even when you told them that the passports are missing? Don't look. ...leaving their home in Coronation Street, Weatherfield. They're believed to be in the Peak District, but if you have any information on their whereabouts, please phone the instant room. <laughs> I've found someone who can help us. It moves containers out of the UK every week. Great. Your kid's a real game changer, though. Makes things much more risky. It's not up for debate. What kid, though? Is she down here with you yeah, now? The less you know, the better. Just get it sorted, yeah? This will put the price up. You know I can't get my hands on that sort of money. Don't try it on with me. I saved your life when we were banged up. You owe me big time. I know, but I can't. Don't. Just get us out of the country, or I promise I will end you. I'll do my best, but I'm telling you, you'll have a much better chance if you ditch the woman and the kid. I'll just give you a few more minutes. 